Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Diecast. And today we're going to be taking a look at one of the China models once again. This is a 132 scale 2013 Lamborghini Veneta. Two thousand thirteen was Lamborghini's fiftieth anniversary, and they wanted a special car to commemorate it. And the Veneno ended up being one of the most expensive cars ever made, because when it came out, it had a price tag of four million U.S. dollars. They made five coupes, of which one was the prototype, one went to the museum, and three to customers. And each of those three had a different color as a trim. So the model that you're looking at here has the red trim, which you can see on the side skirts and around the wheels. But the other two colors were white and green, because red, white, and green are the colors on the Italian flag. So apart from these five coupes, of which three went to the customers, there were nine more Veneno Roadsters. Now, this particular grey is known as Grigio Testo, and while the Lamborghini Reventon was based on the Murcielago, the Veneno is based on the Aventador platform. So there's an interesting story associated with this car, because back in the day the Veneno was like one of the coolest Lamborghinis ever made, and I purchased this model in 2016, and back then Apart from the 118 Auto Art Veneno and the Kyosho Veneno, there was literally no alternative. So there wasn't even a chance to get it in a smaller scale. So my search for this model actually ended up taking me to AliExpress, where I did find this 132 scale version. And that's why I purchased it. Today, there are more alternatives. I mean, you've got the XO 143 Lamborghini Veneno, which is a little bit smaller and doesn't have any opening parts, but the detail level is really good. And then you have the 124 scale Lamborghini Veneno, both made by Jada and by a company that sells it on AliExpress. So my recommendation, if you're on the lookout for an affordable Veneno, is to get the 124 version. However, back in 2016, this was literally the only one that was available that wasn't 118 scale, and that's why I purchased it. So, so in this review, I'm going to show you all the changes and additions that I made to this model to make it look like the real Vinino a little more. And let's get started. So taking a look at the front of the Lamborghini Veneno. I mean, back when it came out, this was one of the most exotic looking Lamborghinis of all time. So some people didn't like it. But I think most people did, and whatever your take is on the actual car itself, I think that in 132 scale, this no-name Chinese manufacturer has done a fairly good job in replicating all these air intakes at the front because they're like multi-layered. It's one of the most interesting looking front splitters out there. So they have replicated all the details. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to the headlights, that famous Y-shaped pattern is missing because the rest isn't really dark. You know, like it's supposed to be painted black and then the DRLs are supposed to be the only things to look silver. But anyway, um, they're all right, I guess. Now, regarding the Lamborghini logo, the shield was actually mounted upside down on my model. Now, I don't know if that was a technical defect or if the manufacturer wanted to avoid copyright issues that way. So I had to extend the shield with a black marker. And that's why the logo looks a little bigger than it's supposed to be. Behind the Lamborghini logo, we have more vents for downforce purposes. And these are also replicated pretty well on this model. And now moving on to the side of the Veneno, my favorite angle of this car. Look at that. Absolutely awesome silhouette. So this is where you'll probably notice the most differences between the retail car and the changes that I made to my particular model here. When I purchased the model, it looked like this. It was like not entirely accurate to the Veneno because the wheels, for example, were completely silver. 
and not blacked out, like on the real Veneno. Similarly, the side skirts, or these extended body panels, I guess, were also kept in complete silver instead of black, like it's supposed to be. This spoiler right here was also entirely in silver, and so what I did was I painted the entire thing in black, just like on the wheels, and I also added red center locks for the wheels, which I will show you in a second. But before that, let's take a look at the overall shape of this car, because we have this fin here that extends all the way to the back and holds the spoiler. And this central fin was inspired by Le Mans cars having such a stabilizing fin as well that would help with the downforce. Apart from that, though, one detail that the manufacturer had already added was this tricolor Italian stripe here running along the side. But now let's take a closer look at the rims. So you can see they have a pretty basic amount of detail. I mean, you do get the brake discs, and there are even some perforations on the brake disc. But it, there's like no depth between the brake disc and the rim, so it's all like part of one plastic piece. Um, I know that coloring this in black probably doesn't make it look that good, but this is how the rim of the real Vedena looks like. I also painted this central roof scoop here in black so that it looks like it is perforated. And just like that, I also painted these louvers in black to simulate perforation because they were completely silver on the model. And here we are at the back of the Lamborghini Veneno. Again, a very interesting design, although not very detailed in the scale. Just like at the front, at the back, the Lamborghini Veneno has a very interesting rear diffuser, and I painted all of it in red, because this was completely unpainted on the model. I also painted the exhaust housing in silver, so that you can actually see the four exhausts. And apart from that, of course, you do get a grill in the middle, with a little bit of a texture going on, but nothing is perforated. And the actual taillights themselves are made out of red plastic. Now keep in mind this model has light and sound, which means that these taillights are transparent and will glow, as you can see right here. And now moving further up. So one thing that this 132 scale Veneno has going for it, which the 118 Kyosho Veneno or the 143 Veneno do not, is the fact that the entire rear engine bay cover can open on this model. So that's really cool to see. And on the 118 Auto Art, it's actually a panel that has to be completely removed, but here it just stays open like this. The engine is based on the Aventador's 6.5 liter B12, naturally aspirated, generating 740 horsepower at 8,400 RPM. It has a top speed of 356 kilometers per hour and 0 to 100 acceleration in 2.8 seconds, which were insane figures back in 2013. And the manufacturer has provided us with some fairly decent details for the engine in the form of this netting. And then we also have a little canister over there. So yeah, pretty, pretty good, I'd say. Another cool thing about this Veneno is that it has openable doors, and they open up in the classic scissor-style Lamborghini fashion, and they look pretty cool. So you can display the model this way, and the doors actually stay up, which is good, and opening the doors also activates the light and sound mechanism. But now let's take a closer look inside. So the interior is pretty bare bones. I mean, we can see a center console right there, which has a few buttons on it. And then you have two air vents up there. Rear view mirror does exist, although it doesn't have any reflector. The seats do have the shape of the real Veneno seats, but you can't expect any real detail on a 132 China model. However, you can see that I did paint the surround of the fuel cap in black. 
so that it looks like it's an actual separate piece. But now let's check out the driver's side. So as we check out the driver's side, you can actually see that we have the Lamborghini steering wheel right there. It doesn't have a logo on it though. The instrument pinnacle is behind it. And that's really about it. And finally, here's a look at the underside of the car. Um, I did paint the engine in silver, so it kind of looks cool. I tried to mask the excess silver by painting it in black, but apparently it did not blend too well. Might have to use a damp cloth and get rid of all the excess again. Up here we have the battery compartment. As you can see, it requires three 1.5 button shaped batteries. And that's about it. So guys, thanks again for tuning in to my review of the 132 scale Lamborghini Veneno. And if you're interested in more Lamborghini reviews, please feel free to check out my other ones. And as always, take care. This is Imperial Diecast, signing out.